Hi everyone, I'm Nemo and today I'm going to show you a quick overview of QuickTest Professional. It's also known as QTP. It's the market leader in functional testing and it was developed by a company called Mercury Interactive. It has then been taken over by Hewlett Packard, also known as, as you know, as HP. The version I'm going to show you in this demonstration is version 10. It supports a lot of different environment technologies such as .NET, Java, Oracle, SAP and so on. But for the purpose of this quick overview, it's going to be web add-in uh, which I have selected at the beginning of the application. As you can see, this application has a lot of different features, uh, different parts. Uh, the main part we're going to focus in this, in this overview is the keyword view and the expert view as well as the active screen. The active screen is basically a part of the application where you will see snapshots of actual recording from the application and the test. You have something here which is the data table. It looks like uh, an Excel spreadsheet um, which is basically what it is. Uh, it's a Formula One. And, and it can be used to data drive scripts and also for iteration purposes and so on. This is something we'll have a look at probably in a different tutorial. There's different panels on the left hand side as well as you, as you see there's test flow, available, keywords and resources. I will cover them also in a different tutorial. So let's take a look at how we can start and do a simple recording directly using Quitus Professional Term. We go to automation and record and run settings. From there what you get is two different tabs. The web tab which is there because I have selected the web adding at the beginning and the Windows application is there by default. It's, it is always available because Quitus Professional allows to record on any Windows based application, MCS, MFC based application, sorry. The, let's go back to the web tab and I've selected the first option which is record and run any on any open browser because I have already the Interlinks Pro 7 web browser with Google homepage open there. So we are set and ready. Let's click on the record button available here which is also a shortcut F3. I click on record. I'll go now to Quick Test Professional to the web browser, sorry, and I type in there just for the purpose of this test, Quick Test Pro, and I will click now on the Google search button. It's now showing me the the search results, as usual with Google, and just for the test, I will go and click on the back button, which will give me back which will take me back to the initial stage of the test which is ready now for me to, to replay and I go to, to Quick Test Pro and I stop the test and as we can see we see there's four lines added to the script in the, in the expert view and I will now go to the active screen just to show you what the snapshots looks like this is exactly the same look and feel as what we have in the in the, the web page itself slack changes and the placement of icons but the main focus is on where the rectangle the pink rectangle is this is where the edit field I have entered quick test pro to search for when I have clicked on the Google search button this is when the results was displayed for that specific search and as you can see it's it's got a dot sync there. This is basically because QTP has waited for the for the entire page to load before to go to the next step. And this is where I clicked on the next on the back button. The back button has not got any snapshot in the active screens because it's part of the toolbar of Internet Pro Server. So if we go back here, we see that he has search for the QuickTest Pro. Right now we have recorded our script and we are at the initial stage where we have started the script which is when we have entered QuickTest Pro. We are now ready to replay the script. So I click now on run 
and I choose to run from a temp folder to save the things and it's, it has entered QuickTest Pro in the search it has found the search and the, and the results and it has gone back to the initial stage this has actually occurred quite quickly because what happened is when QuickTest Pro replay a script especially especially a web web um, web application it will replay as fast as possible as fast as the page is loaded it will try to go as you can see now it's this is exactly what happened there you can if you want slow down the process and put wait statements in between maybe of, of five seconds so you will see exactly what happens so let's see what we got here if I replay the script in this following way so I'll just erase quick test pro so you guys can see it and I'll replay it so it enters quick test pro it waits for five seconds then it clicks on the Google search button it has now displayed the test results it waits for five seconds before to click on the back button and it has now taken me back to the initial stage and the test has stopped because it has reached the last part of the test we can now check the test results which is by clicking on this icon there I will just expand all and what we can see is that it has entered the, the search string it has clicked on it on the Google search button it has tried to find the page and what happened here is QuickTest Pro has got a smart mechanism called smart identification each object has a unique property which identifies this object compared to other objects and in this stage the Google page had value for that property URL not the way it is displayed in the application so QuickTest Professional has ignored this property and has used instead a unique property which is the title and it has used the value quick test pro google search and it has found the correct page and the test has passed correctly there is no pass or failed at this stage because we didn't put any checkpoints or we didn't do any verification on the page itself so there's nothing that will be showing there let's pretend that we are going to put a, a, a checkpoint now we have done the recording we don't want to do it again what can be done here to add a verification the good thing about the access screen it's that it allows us to access it even after the recording it's like I'm having the, the application and the test right in front of me so now I would like to give a pass if the test the text displayed in this edit box is indeed quick test pro so what I would do I just right click on the text and I put now insert standard checkpoints so checkpoints is the only way or yes it is the only way to have a pass or failed status for the test itself you can have a custom uh, test result which uh, which is something that I need to cover later on but for now let's focus on checkpoints to get the test passed or failed so I will focus on the edit field which is Q it has internal value Q for this edit field and I would like to concentrate only on the value of this edit field which I have the quick test so if the value of the property is quick test so I was just taking the other options off because I only want to focus on on the property value this is what I mean if the property value as for value quick test pro which is a bit hard to say then this then this checkpoint has passed so I'm just going to check if that's correct or not check